What's up welders? Paul here again. Welcome to Adventures in Welding. I'm not going to put a slash machining on the end of it. We're dealing mainly with welding. But there's going to be a little machining in here from time to time. And today's going to be one of those times because I just got this nice little 7x10 inch lathe. And it's pretty cool. And when I got it, the only thing I knew about lathes I had learned from watching... Um, What's his name? Mr. Pete Tubal Kane. And uh, that's that's an excellent YouTube series to watch if you want to learn how to do some lathe operations. I mean, I knew what a lathe did, but I didn't know how to do it. So I watched Mr. Pete for a long time, and I learned how to do this. And I thought I'd share with you a, a very simple operation. You know, something that you might end up wanting to do or having to do. And I'll show you how really simple it is and... As stupid as this is, it is incredibly satisfying. What I got in here is a piece of a one inch round brass. Yeah, you can use whatever metal you want. I like brass, it's pretty. And let's say it's Sunday afternoon, all the stores are closed, and you need a three quarter inch by quarter inch brass washer with a three eighths inch hole in the center. How are you going to get one? Everything's closed. You know, say you live out in Amish country and you know, they don't open anything on Sunday. Well, if you've got a lathe, you can make it using some simple operations. Facing, drilling, turning, and parting. Four operations, really simple. I'm going to show you how it works. We're going to start with facing, which is making this face, the end face of the piece, perpendicular, a 90 degree angle, to this longitudinal piece right here. And to do that, we're going to use this cutter right here, which is put into the little tool holder right here. And we're going to turn it at an angle and scrape across here and flatten it out. All right, we're going to begin our facing operation by rolling the carriage up here and the cross slide. We're going to get it into position. We're going to get real close. We're not going to get too close. Roll this back. Give us a little bit of play here. And then what I'm going to do here, I hope you can see this, is I'm going to lock, basically lock, lock this. This is actually the power feed, but since it's out of gear, it works as a carriage stop because this lathe doesn't have a carriage stop. All right, so let's get you back on track here. I like to do my facing from the center out. You can do it out and in. I'll go both ways. So we're going to turn on the lathe. Touch off, which means just touching the piece. And then we're going to bring the, car the uh, cross slide out. I'm making very light cuts with this lathe. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to do about five thousandths. And we'll turn it back in. And that's it. We are faced off. That is nice and parallel, but we have a very, very sharp edge here. So to fix that, you want to do what's called breaking the edges. And there's lots of ways to do it. I'm just going to turn this tool a little bit like this. Bring this all the way out here. We'll turn the lathe back on. And we're just basically going to come up and touch it.
that's it. A little bit of angle breaks that sharp edge, and we're good. All right. Our next operation is going to be drilling. We're going to start with what's called a center drill. Okay, here's our tailstock, and here's our chuck with our center drill in it. See, it's just a funny little drill with a little nose to find the center. Now, our drill chuck has number two Morse taper that fits in there like that. You want to make sure it's seated real good. I find if you just kind of bang it right into the piece, that seats it pretty darn good. Then we're just going to bring it up here nice and close. Lock the cam. Alright, everything's locked down and we're ready to drill. So this will drill a nice hole directly in the center of the piece. I'm not using any lubricants because this is brass and it's relatively soft. That's it. There's our center hole. Alright guys, we are going to use three drill bits to get up to our 3 eighths, 3 eighths inch size. The first one is 5 sixteenths. And we're going to drill in about an inch or so. Clear the chips. All right, we have our live center in here and that is basically the reason that I drill before I turn this down because the live center will provide some support to the piece while we turn it. All right, our next operation is to turn this down to three quarters of an inch. Let me get some all right, I'm going to take about five thousandths of an inch off, and I'm going to do this by hand. Try for a little bigger bite here, see if we can get ten thousandths of an inch. Yeah, ten seems to be working out all right. All right, I'm going to do some more of these off camera. I'll be back for our last pass. Eight, six. We got 11 to take off yet. We're going to come in here, touch the tool lightly to set where we're at. I'm going to set this for about five thousandths. It's 
take another measurement. Wow, that only took off a thousandth of an inch. That dial must not be that good. Alright, let's try it again. Two. All right. All right, this should be our last cut. One more. Now I'm going to come right up to this shoulder and back out so that it cuts a nice straight shoulder. There we are. 0.75. Next, we have to part off our piece. And that means cutting it off. Alright, so first thing we have to do is switch our tools. <clears throat> to cut this off we're going to use a parting blade which is a straight blade with a relief angle and we have to make sure that we're nice and sharp that's the first important thing and we're good there next thing and this is a real key is we need to make sure we are on center and the easiest way to do that is to use the center in your tailstock. So we got our center in there, it's locked, then bring our tool out here so that it is right up. And I'm going to go handheld here so you can see what's going on. Okay, so we need to make sure that the top of that is even with the tip of our center. So to do that, we just adjust the nut here. See, we can lower it, we can raise it. Now to my blind old eye, that looks to be about right. So I'm gonna tighten the jam nut on there and we'll be ready for our next step. All right, the next step, and another incredibly important step, is you have to make sure that your parting blade is exactly perpendicular to this face and parallel to this face. The way I like to do it 
is to just bring it up against the face of the chuck. Loosen your tool post. Make sure you see no gap. Once there's no gap, you know that you are square. So the next thing is we need to mark out our distance. We need a quarter inch. Alright, the last step is to cut. I am going to do this with the cross slide and you want to keep a constant pressure on here. If we were doing this on steel we would definitely need lubrication. But we can get away without it because brass is a pretty good bearing surface. about 300 rpm and in we go Well guys, there it is. A three quarter inch by quarter inch with a three eighths inch opening brass washer. Yep, it took some time to do it. But you know what? That's half the fun, I think, anyway. Now how satisfying is that? You made it yourself in your shop on your own lathe. It's a simple project. Anybody can do it. And it's fun. That's it for this episode of Adventures in Welding. Thanks for joining me. Now get the hell out of my shop. I gotta go take my son and find a pumpkin. <laughs>